Yo, what's up? My name is Petrovsky, and we have a catching event to cover today for Pokey MMO. Now, look at this art. Absolutely stunning. I feel like this is a 9 out of 10, maybe 10 out of 10. I'm, I'm tough on the... I'm tough. I think... It's, it's a tough decision. I think I'm going to go 9.5 out of 10. Final verdict, but really great art for this one. Um, let's go ahead and get into the details of this obviously Hound Hour catching event. It's going to be taking place on Saturday, the 6th of August, 2022 at 2300 UTC, 1900 ET. What is that? 7 p.m. Eastern. That's my time zone. 1800 BRT or 1 a.m. CEST. Now, do take note that if you are in that CEST time zone, it's going to be on Sunday, the 7th, as opposed to Saturday, the 6th. If you don't see your time zone listed here, you can use the time zone converter provided in the forum post, which is always linked below every single catching your event video. Now, it's going to be at Route 7 in Kanto. Uh, you're going to have one hour to catch as many Houndour, Growlithe, and Vulpix as possible. And then 10 minutes after that hour is up to submit your entry. The scoring, as usual, is going to be some of IVs, plus species bonus, plus nature bonus. Let's go ahead and cover those specific species and nature bonuses. Houndour is going to have a plus 7 species bonus. A really high, strong species bonus here. Really important to always focus and prioritize Houndour here, obviously. And then neutral Growlithe, neutral Vulpix. Nature bonuses are going to be plus 3 for Hasty and plus 3 for Timid. Interesting. Uh, definitely probably not worth to bring a synchronized Pokemon here, in my opinion. But it's up to you. You could if you really wanted to. Um, the rules for this. These are the general rules. They're the same for every single catch event. So I'm going to run through them kind of quickly. If you have any questions about them, let me know in the comments down down below or hit up my Pokemo catch events explained video any questions really should be answered there so check that out but if you still have ones that are unanswered let me know to win first or third place that are sorted from highest to lowest you need to submit an entry that scores the highest to win fourth place you need to submit an entry that scores the lowest you can only submit one entry players can enter the event with only one account slash character all Pokemon must be caught within the event time and at the event location all Pokemon must remain unchanged, untrained, and unevolved. Evolved or unevolved forms of the listed Pokemon will not be accepted as a valid entry. You must be the OT of the Pokemon. You must link your entry to any participating staff member via Whisper to submit it. And then in the event of a tie, the winner will be determined by earliest catch time, which happens a decent amount. The staff members for this event that you're going to be whispering are going to be Cosmuth, Edwardino, and Deus Bruno. It should be really easy to always find staff members in global chat after an event during that 10-minute period. They're pretty much always spamming the chat saying, hey, like, taking entries, taking entries, feel free to whisper me. Like, it's pretty easy to get their attention, pretty easy to see them popping off. So, on to the prizes for this one. I So, this is a, a big question of whether it was going to be a shiny hound hour or not. And I actually respect this choice. So, the reason they don't give out every prize as a shiny is because it devalues them and it becomes a little unfair. If someone spent, you know, a ton of time hunting, like, a really rare shiny or a tough shiny and they just give it out all the time in catch events it'd be kind of sad right or kind of frustrating it kind of demotivates the players from shiny hunting that specific rarish shiny they could just go for it in a catch event one day but hound hour is a times three nighttime only horror shiny i believe so it's a pretty rarish one it's a times three horror while also being nighttime specific i think it was a smart decision to make this one um a normal hound hour i respect the no shiny if you, if you you know i understand it, it really could go either way i understand if you disagree with this opinion feel free to let me know in the comments down below let yourself be heard um this really could have done either way they will sometimes do like these slightly rarer ish shinies uh or they will they, like as a catch event prize but they do want to do it not so frequently so if you think they could do it here let me know etc etc but anyways let's finish it up uh gift hound hour your choice of nature four moves six selectable iv so a perfect six times 31 if you would like hound hour you could also go one like zero attack if you want to uh, avoid foul play. The foul play is probably not going to do much damage to you either either way, though, since you're already a dark type and resistant and everything. Shouldn't be a big deal. Plus 1,000 reward points. Second place is going to get 500 reward points, and third and fourth place will both get 250 reward points, respectively. That covers everything. That's all the details for this Hound Hour catching event. If you guys have any questions, let them in the comments down below. Make sure to like the video if you enjoy seeing catch events like this. It really motivates me to keep making these and updating you guys on this stuff. I know it's not for everyone. I know that every catch event isn't for everyone as well. Like, I, you know, you might click on certain catch events you're interested in and the thumbnail and stuff, but you might dodge others, which is totally understandable. Uh, but I appreciate the likes. 
Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see daily Pokemon content. Check out the Discord link down below if you want to join a really cool community, ask questions, and just learn a lot about the game. And then finally, if you want to go above and beyond and support the channel, you can do so by becoming a YouTube member for 5 bucks a month, dropping a Twitch Prime or a Twitch sub over on my Twitch, or hitting up my PayPal or Venmo links down below. I appreciate it. Never needed, but it does help along, go a long way. So thank you all so much. Have a good one. I'll see you later. Peace.